Hello everyone and welcome to Interiors by Style. My name is Božica. I'm qualified interior designer and color specialist. Uh, in this uh, video vlog today we are going to review another Julux color and that color it's called Feather Soft. It's a beautiful neutral as you can see here. It's really light and soft and in order for us to test what undertone this color has we will always compare it to a pure white. That is a must when we are looking at the neutrals and when we are looking to see what undertone is coming through. So when we look at this color we can definitely tell that this is a gray with a green undertone. Uh, it's a very beautiful versatile undertone that works really well with all the other undertones. Um, so the LRV for this particular color is 68 so that means it will come into that category between 55 to 75. Uh, so please uh, feel free to go and watch the video where I I talk all about LRV and what it stands for so it's a light reflection value and it is very very important. I highly advise that you always look at that particular number. I have done a full video explaining what it means. So 68 it's beautiful. It tells us that it ha it's not dark. It just has that enough depth that it can be painted on all walls especially if you have a open space um, living area this color would work like a dream and it would also work really well in bedrooms this is a type of a color that you just paint the whole space and it would also create enough contrast if you having architraves and uh, skirtings in white color when it comes to uh, gray colors with the green undertone they get paired really well with whites that are soft and warm whites because gray color can come across as cold so you want that warmth and softness so I would always advise to go for a soft warm white and uh, in this particular with this particular color um, natural white would work like a dream so if you want your architraves and skirtings and doors to be painted in that color go for natural white and then this can be on your walls um, and it obviously it all depends um, what other fixed elements you have and all that but I'm not going to go into that right now. So um, when it comes to uh, the other thing when we look at the color we need to look at whether your room is facing north, west, south or east that is very important uh, and because uh, every color needs light to reflect. So if you uh, want to put this color and you have a north facing room, this color will look so much darker than what you are looking at it on a paint sample. Another thing is never ever test a color from those small tiny little samples. You always have to have your A4 size sample and I will repeat this a lot through the videos but for example if you're in a rush quickly go to Bunnings you can buy this little pot, they will give you a color, I believe it's $8 and then just paint it on your A4 size um, sample and then you can uh, test it at home against the pure white and just see what undertone is coming, how dark it is, do you like it and um, that is very very important. So as I have said in a north facing it will look even darker however don't let put you off because it all depends what uh, you want to create in that particular space. If that is an office and you want it to be bright and light then don't install this color it will look darker or if you love the color and you still want to work with it then I would uh, advise to introduce a lot of artificial light. Uh, so what is this color good to be paired up with? So as I said uh, natural white for a white would work really well and if you want to add a bit more um, depth to it you can also use um, silo grain it's another gray with the green undertone and it would work really really well and there's one more color that I also love it's shadow catcher this is also gray with the green undertone. It's almost like you're creating that lovely monochromatic color scheme. So these particular colors don't have to necessarily be on your walls. You can take these colors as your um, 
palette and then choose to have maybe sofa in one of these colors or armchair or curtains or by accessories so these colors are just like a reference for you how you want to use it to create that palette and what kind of color scheme you want to work with so this is like it's very easy when you work with color once you understand in neutral what undertone it is and what you can pair it up with so um that is it uh, for the review of this color. Oh yeah, one more thing. Would it work externally? Yes, it would work externally. However, it does throw that gray with the green undertone. And if you love that, then by all means use it. Again, it would work really well against black windows or white windows uh, when it comes to brick you have to be very careful that particular brick has to have the same undertone in order for this color to work but that is a topic for another vlog i'm not gonna go into that at the moment um, if you are working on your uh, exterior and you have any questions you can feel free to ask me and then maybe i can create a video and explain a few things um, but yeah those uh, that is it for uh, for this particular color and the review it's a beautiful color um feel free to use that uh it's a gray with a green undertone get the color test it, and when you go shopping take it with you so you know um what else to buy to repeat the color in interior design repetition of color it is very very important and on that note i just want to say that my online course on uh, how to choose uh, color schemes with confidence is up and live and i teach all about the color undertones color schemes lrv and so much more so if you want to check it out go and have a look and that is it for this um, video vlog and I will see you in another one. Ciao for now.